video is meant to familiarize the rider with the location of information and components on a Polaris Boost Indy VR1 snowmobile. Starting at the front of the vehicle, you will see the front bumper, two side panels, and the near field communication chip embedded in the Polaris emblem, which connects you to a digital platform of vehicle information and tools. Remove the left side panel to access, the oil injection reservoir, driven clutch spreader tool, clutch assembly, spark plug socket, spare belt holder, spark plug holder on the back of the belt holder, and the fuse panel. Behind the right side panel, you'll find the headlight adjustment, pressure cap, coolant overflow bottle, brake system, exhaust silencer, and a smaller battery on non-electric start models that will retain the GPS data on the 7S display for up to 30 minutes. In the right footwell, you'll find the battery charging port and the chain case fill plug. The front suspension contains the Northwoods Trail, shock assembly with preload adjustment and compression adjustment, control arms, tie rods, sway bar and links, spindles, ski rubber, skis, and skags underneath the skis. Once on the seat, you'll see the 7S display, storage compartment behind the display, USB plug inside the storage compartment, the big and little dipper, and the group ride antenna. The left handlebar contains the brake lever, parking brake, brake reservoir, handguard, back button, navigation buttons, select button, headlight dimmer switch, heated grips control button, and the electronic reverse control. The right handlebar contains the handguard, the engine run stop switch, and throttle lever. The handlebars can be adjusted by loosening the four fasteners in the center. Below the handlebars are the intake screens, key switch, fuel cap, and the recoil handle. Underneath the seat you'll find a storage compartment, accessory plugs, and the evolution of Polaris snowmobiles. Move to the rear suspension to find the front limiter straps, rail slide, front track shock with preload adjustment and compression adjustment, rear track shock and compression adjustment, front and rear grease zerks, torsion spring and adjustment, scissor stops which are different on boost models. Adjusting these can help relieve ski lift, rear idler wheels, and rear idler adjustment. The VIN label is located on the right side of the vehicle above the running board. The VIN is also stamped in the same location. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit Polaris.com.